My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Well, there are a few uh, you know, feature races, uh, listed features, uh, just getting the high fell season warmed up for what's in store earlier on in the card. But the race that I'll be looking forward to is race number eight. Now, this is a novice handicap. It's over 1,200 meters. At the time of recording, maybe Ryle can confirm this. Number one is a scratching here, Ryle. Yep, that's correct, please. So 11 runners go to post here. Now, I say this because... Uh, it does take some doing to win on debut. We know that. Uh, a good horse, a horse that brings his homework, that's rated by the stable, uh, usually gets the job done. Now, those horses I've watched over the years, Ryle, they go on and, you know, most of them go on and win their fair share of races. But it's the above average ones, the very good ones that can go back to back. And uh, this horse, well, he's got the first hurdle, a tick for me, winning on debut. And he wasn't like heavily supported in the betting, you know, saying, suggesting that the stable may have been on the fence with him. Because I think if it was really strong with him, the source could have shortened dramatically in the betting. But he didn't. And the fact is the way he won that day. I don't know what you made of his win because I'm going to take a big, bold stance here. Uh, firstly, Texas Red winning, Latuli winning from that form line, which is good for me. I'm going to take a big, bold stance. There is some form in the race. I mean, this is big for me because it's very, very seldom. I know a lot of guys read it differently. Most guys that I speak to, they find it difficult following up on a horse that's won first time out. I'm one of them, you know. I, they really have to catch my eye. But I'm going to take a stance here and say that this horse is going to train on and hopefully, you know, go on to bigger and better things on what I saw on debut. Smash in win. Yes. Really nice win. And the fact is that he was with the pace on debut. It's not that he came from off them and he just quickened past him. He was with the pace and he maintained it throughout. And he won a nice race beating Tartarus. And uh, I am giant. He, he's a horse that could be well above average. He could well be a lot better than, than Mark of 90. He could win this race quite comfortably. And uh, you in the camp of him and you have every right to be. But I just feel that he's a horse that... He's going to go on to bigger and better things, but he could just find a few in this lineup which could possibly get the better of him. I'm not saying that he can't win. He 100% can win, but a horse like South Boy would have needed his last start. He has his second run after rest. He is a winner over the course and distance. King in the middle gets a ride. Not beaten far last time out as well. He's on a mark that I think he's going to be competitive off of uh, 74. He's a five-year-old, but he's likely a race. Certainly a horse with a few issues, I'd say. But he's one that could certainly get into the mix. Number six, Power Broker. Won on debut. Disappointing last start. I think you can put a line through it over 1,400. He could now run a better race over 1,200, having his first run, uh, second run after that last start, and uh, first run after Galvin. So Power Broker could be one to include into the mix as well. So I think those two horses are the ones that I'm going to include into the pick six just to add to number two, I am giant. But if you're looking past there, those horses, I think it's, it's a bit trappy. Yeah, he's, a, he's well related as well. He's a foot brother to a five-time winner called Odin. Well, I think the best way to summarize it up, the best, best way to summarize it up is, and I just, just, just came to me now. I am giant. <laughs> Stand up on my shoulders. Tell me what you see. I see a pick six banker. I am giant. Race number eight. It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.